laughs like that. Yeah. But I know you worked with Diddy. What was that process like? Um, <laughs> it was interesting. I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell. <laughs> uh, I'll tell. I'll tell the story. Obviously, we all know that Diddy doesn't write his own rhymes. He writes checks. Um, so, <laughs> the the record coming home. You guys remember that song with, with Skylar Gray on it? That was a really interesting one because we had the record. We had the, the track from Alex the Kid with the Skylar Gray hook, and Diddy loved it and was like, "Yo, I need someone to write this record for me." So we sent it out to Jay, J. Cole, and Drake. Drake was too busy to do it. J. Cole wrote a fire-ass song, and Jay-Z wrote a really, really dope-ass song, too. He ended up going with Jay's version, but he, but, he, but, he, but, he, but, he used, but he used like the intro from J. Cole's part without really telling nobody. So the song gets made, and like it became this whole publishing mess because obviously J. Cole was signed to Jay-Z. Jay-Z wrote the, part, the bigger part of the record. Alex the Kid was the producer. Skylar Gray wrote the hook. So they're all tussling over like who's going to get which section, which section of the record, and it, Ultimately, Skylar Gray had to take that loss because J. Cole, because Jay-Z was like, you're not going to sc screw my artist. You know what I mean? So like every, every, every situation is different. 